from France to Spain to England. All across the continent, Europe is facing a nightmare scenario, battling a resurgence of COVID-19 before the onset of winter. Italy on Wednesday saw a record jump in new infections, over 7,000, though COVID-related deaths are nowhere near the numbers seen in the spring. Still, the situation is so dire, an immunologist in Poland described feeling as being, quote, on the brink of disaster. New COVID-19 infections are hitting about 100,000 a day across Europe. That far eclipses the daily new infection rate in the U.S. of about 51,000. Precautionary measures are being reinstated across Europe as hospital beds fill up quickly. In the Czech Republic, hospitalizations this time are six times the peak seen during the first wave. With Europe's worst rate per capita, it has shifted schools to distance learning and plans to call up thousands of medical students. Hospitals are cutting non-urgent medical procedures to free up beds. 20 miles outside of Prague, this hospital director is worried his staff will get worn down. I am worried about the personnel, mainly nurses. It is not just about numbers, but about the physical and psychological stress, because working with using the protective aids is very demanding. Breathing becomes difficult. It's hot. Manual skillfulness is limited when using two pairs of gloves. Other measures in Europe to contain the virus include shutting down bars and pubs. In cities like Barcelona, restaurants are being ordered to stop sit-down dining for 15 days starting Thursday. This restaurant manager is upset. I think we are much better here than on buses and trains and everywhere. Now, I don't think the restaurant industry is the one to blame, honestly, because we respect the two-meter distance. I believe that this will be the end for us. The restaurant industry was already bad, but with this, it will be total chaos. Europe is now responsible for about a third of all global new cases, forcing leaders to take new actions. French President Emmanuel Macron announced in a TV interview on Wednesday nightly curfews for four weeks beginning Saturday in Paris and other major cities. We cannot get through this if everyone doesn't play their part, doesn't do their bit. So I am saying very clearly the message I came to convey this evening. I need every one of you. We need each one of us. But the resurgent virus isn't limited to Europe. 22 American states set records for increases in new cases so far this month. And in Australia, one of the most successful countries to combat the virus, clusters have emerged in that country's two most populous states.